Hey guys, my name is Matt, and today I'm going to show you how to install everything that you need for Stable Diffusion using Stability Matrix. This incredible package manager was brought to me by Vasily at VW Art Club, so thanks to him for showing this to me. And what it does is it allows you to install all those big named programs that you want to try, like Forge, Focus, Comfy, and I'll show you how to do that right now. Simply scroll down till you see the Windows 10 install button. Click that and you'll download a Stability Matrix zip file. Extract that to somewhere on your hard drive. In this case, I put SD Matrix. And this is a standalone program. When you run it, you want it to be in this directory because we're not going to install it into our user. We're gonna put it into the portable mode. And that means it'll run right here in this directory. And that way we can port it if we ever run out of space on this drive because it also is going to install all the packages within that directory, so everything's going to be really well managed. The first thing I recommend installing now is Stable Diffusion Forge, which is the alternative to the Stable Diffusion Web UI, Automatic 11.11, which we've been using. You don't have to download any recommended models. You can if you like. I would maybe do the Epic Realism XL that it's recommending here. Okay, then we're going to hit download. All right, once you have that installed and downloaded, you could launch it if you want right away or you can add some additional packages since we're here. I'll quickly recommend the ones that I would use for old and new users. You wanna start with Forge, which is I think a better version and implementation of Automatic 11.11. It has better management uh, for memory and it's a little bit faster. So check out that first. Then we have Comfy, which is the node-based. And what's really cool about this whole matrix package is that once you have Comfy installed, you can go over to Workflows that you can load and then have a solution to a certain uh, problem. Like if I type in Upscale, you can go through this person's solution. It will import all of those links and settings. However, you still have to manually download the nodes and uh, have those installed or they're just gonna be red. So it's a little bit tricky, but definitely worth checking out once you've played around with Comfy. Uh, we have Focus, which might go to for text to image if you wanted to create something from scratch, but it also has really cool in-painting features now. Then I'm not using Volta. The only other thing would be Stability AI's Stable Swarm. This allows you to connect easily with an API. If you want to buy credits and you don't have the GPU, then you can buy credits on their uh, service and have generation done externally. Other versions here I haven't used. Invoke has been around for a while. It's got a really easy interface. If you want to start with something really simple, you can go there. And then this one, which I recommended last year as an alternative to the regular focus, is not being supported anymore. So don't install that. Everything really is the first four here I would recommend. Those of you who are using the Photoshop plugin by Abdullah, it works with Forge, but the control net doesn't work. So if you want to use control net in the Photoshop plugin, then you still need to have automatic 11.11 installed. Okay. And then what's really cool here is we have our Civit browser built in. And then even easier for downloading control nets is the hugging face. This is where you would download the models that you need for control net. And so the first thing to do would be to start these two to get these going and install those right away. But you don't need any of the base models. We have an output browser. So all of your packages now get sent to one single output directory, which is great. And we have the models that we're going to use in every package. These are the ones that you download from Civit or even the ones I'm producing now, my LoRa models. They will go into LoRa, Stable Diffusion, and Control Net. And then if you wanna get additional scaling packages, uh, scalar models, you can put those into the appropriate ones. That about covers the basics of Stability Matrix. And if you're going on to the next thing, you wanna load something, then just start with one of these packages, get going, and uh, just start experimenting. If you're on my website and you wanna see the next videos I recommend, I cover automatic, focus, and comfy, and just pick one that you want to learn and get started. All right, peace.